much. Just right. throw off your opponent's defense, get in their head early. Quick uh, little note there. We fled AR and SD KD first bloods and last man standing in, in season one. So I think he's going to be our guy to watch. Very interesting leader in first bloods and last man standing. It's sort of uh, it's sort of an opposite stat you would think. When you're going for that many first bloods, you're putting yourself at a little bit more risk, but he's still able to stay alive late into those rounds. So I guess we're going to look out for beats based on those stats to really step it up here for his team on Terrace. And he is not going with a sniper. Wheats is going straight into the action with his trusted bow, and he is going to overclock his way straight to the pool. So as I throw on your COD vision, you can see those red outlines. That is going to be your Isolation Empire squad. Anticity leading the charge down the stairs. He's going to let his teammates deal with that mess, but they did lose the bomb carrier. It's Nelson trying to stay alive in the bedroom, and he will be cleaned up. Cosmo one on two. Yeah, very interesting strategy. They, the middle of the map was pretty much left open for both teams to push through, but it looked like AR got that initial control of pool, and that's why they were able to trade so effectively. You have so many different angles you can push from when you get control of that middle purple pool. Cosmo taking some shots there at showers oh. in a tough situation, but Cosmo was able to pick up one. Nice shots there. Now evens it out to a 1v1. 40 seconds left. There's still a lot of time to move around the map. Reloads his sniper after he got that nice pick. Cosmo with a rough game one is going to clutch the 1v2 here in game number two. He sniped BL, or excuse me, Burns as he was jumping down to go with the bomb plant. Huge shot there, opened up the one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and Cosmo showing you that hard point. That's a fluke, guys. This is how I normally play, already with three kills on the board. Very impressive snipe there, able to even out that round for Cosmo, and then just had enough time to move around the map and catch that last player off guard. I'm not sure why AR didn't just simply turtle and go for that plant at the bottom A. No need to peek that guy at showers because things like that can happen, especially with so many snipers. Let's see if Cosmo could go for this another pre-snipe. Doesn't see anyone at the top lap, but I think he saw one player go down low. Cosmo's gonna hit. Oh, hit marker. That was Wheats. Wheats injured and he will be cleaned up. BL fire is gonna be dropped by Silly and Anticity answers back for AR. Enzo. Thinking about getting this bomb down, but not quite comfortable enough yet. Anticity still threatening up near the pool. And we're going to see a big battle going down. That is Anticity beating Nelson two on two here. A little bit of help coming through. Enzo, last man standing as you see Burns off at another one to the kill column. Yeah, Iso had the man advantage right there and just kind of sat around and didn't plant. They didn't try to push through. If things are not going to go well. Advanced Warfare is such a fast-paced game, especially in Search and Destroy, which is a little bit different from, than what we've seen in different other, other Call of Duty titles. And right. now you just need to be more decisive. You get those kills, and you just don't really do anything with them. You need to push through and take control of middle, of their side, plant the bomb. Basically what they did is just left themselves as sitting ducks. You're going to see the flank coming in. Enzo not going to see this coming. Easiest kill of Burns' life right there, waiting for him. And he is going to go in for the defuse. So nice defensive stands as Burns will get the defuse. And will be 1-1 after two rounds. Yeah, pretty easy kill there. I see what the other player was trying to do, trying to catch that 50-50 timing where he's trying to get behind them. But Burns able to just easily shoot him in the back, even out those rounds. Looks like defense is having a better time here on Terrace. As usual, we'll see what's going to happen on the attack. And look at this. Burns off says, yo... I got some new guns. Lots of bullets coming at you. Oh, and he actually, there it is. Yeah, had the ASM-1 on his back, and he's going to be looking for that first opponent to push him top B. What is the plan here for AR as we look at the minimap spread? Yeah, I'm not too sure. They're playing a very, very slow round. Looks like one player, though, is pushed up a little bit farther at the middle of the map. Not sure if that's Showers or at the Purple Pool, but nice. First blood from Nelson there at down low. Was able to push up a little bit farther at green and take advantage of that player that wasn't ready for him. Pushing in that down low alley. Easy gunfight win for Nelson. All right, Bomb is rotating through as well. Weeds is going to go join Anticity at the bottom of the pool. And it looks like actually Burns says, no, come back up. There's going to be action at B. Only one player to scout this out, but I think he's heard it. Enzo is going to make the call out down low. Players Ooh. set up to react, and there is a punch right to Enzo's mouth from Weeds. Man advantage. Actually, we're all tied up. 3-3. Three, three. I thought we were going to see Silly push, and he is just going to stall this one out as the bomb was planted top B. Yeah, a little bit unlucky for Enzo there. He heard a lot of players dashing around him, but as soon as he peeked the corner, Wheats had a fist in his face. Not much he could really do 
about that one. Burns oh, in a 1v2 no. right there. Three players in this one. Silly's able to take out his teammate, actually. Wheat's able to fight back and get the two-piece. Unlucky there for Silly. Looks like they had that triple push from the back steps, yeah. but the team kill pretty much uh, made them lose that. Wheat was able to pick up the easy two. As soon as I saw Burns getting kind of the, a little bit of auto aim, he was stuck between yeah. the two players. I thought, all right, this is definitely going to be going to isolation. Unfortunately, teammate jumps in front of the bullet. Sometimes you just got to let him know. So we're going into round number four. AR up 2-1 as we see the attacking squad. Once again, it's Isolation Empire and an IMR in the hands of Silly. Yeah, that was a tough situation. It's so hard when you see a player dash past, your auto-aim locks onto that player, and then the other one dashes by. Weeks gets a nice trade at the middle. Burns picks up another. BL Fire was able to flank that guy down low. Going for the last kill Ooh. at pool, but the IMR gets that one burst, but he is locked in. Silly picks up one, not able to pick up the other guy, flanking him at the wood ramp. Pretty easy stuff. Nice aggressive push on defense by AR. Very fast round as you'll see Burns charging through the caves. He's going to pick up the final kill here in the tunnel. And that is going to do it three to one. Nice advantage here for AR. You got to think they're in control of this game. Yeah, definitely after that round. Very fast pace. We're able to get those easy trades. Wheat's playing extremely aggressive, living up to that first blood stat that we saw at the beginning of the game. Just constantly putting so much pressure at the middle of the map every single round, and ISO just can't do anything about it. Not a single sniper out for AR, and you can see they're aggressively pushing up on A. Bomb should be going down. They'll set up to defend at the key player. Wheat's up top for now. He's going to have a teammate joining him, and of course, down low from the bedroom, you have Anticity watching with the ASM-1 short-range battles. Massive flank coming on here around the spawn of the, the red team. It looks like ISO is trying to hit a flank, but they need to be careful. Otherwise, Burns is going to be able to take him out. Enzo trying to push into bedroom, but they're just camping in corners. They have this bomb down. No reason for them to move. Silly now stuck in a 2v2 with his teammate Cosmo. Now 2v1, BL Fire last player, but he looks like he has the advantage up top. He can easily check bomb just by boosting. Checks one player. The time is on his side, but he decides to peek out. Not, I don't really agree with that play. It's you have the, the height advantage, you can easily just double jump yep. and check bomb. Even if they know where you are, it doesn't really matter because no one's on the bomb yet. So. That bomb defused with just three seconds left. Nice timing. I thought I thought we were going to see Nelson ruin the flank because he right. just ruthlessly boosted right above an opponent. Yeah. That let him know they were pushing and AR just couldn't hold their setup. So now it's going to be Silly and the boys back on the attack. Burns going back to his Amelie on defense though. Yeah, seems like he definitely likes having all these bullets. He sees two players there on the ramp with that thermal sight. Now is deciding to challenge there at the top Whoa. pool. Other player does not even decide to shoot back. Not sure, sure if he is putting Nel on his Nelson's mute or broken what. broken right now, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he was popping that mute on, didn't have fast hands, and that's where you get punished for it. Anticity and Silly in a 1v1. Anticity able to dash and just instantly melt that player. And so in a 1v1, picks out one, but is just traded out. Nice pushes from AR and we see just how confident Burns is to just fight that player. Got a little bit lucky because the player didn't even shoot back, but he just pops away the LMG, pulls out the submachine gun, and is e easily able to get that first kill. That overclass kill, it's it's so helpful to have overclass. Or overkill, excuse me, overkill class. We're going into 4-2. Lead here for AR. Back over to defense. It's going to be Burns and the boys on the attack as it's ISO trying to defend. I was looking through to see if there's any snipers, and there's one in the hands of Anticity. So he's our player to watch at the moment. Also, look out for the attacking blue arrows. This one, BL Fire, trading instantly. Silly cleaned up after taking down Wheats. A three on three. And we're going to see what is the plan for automatic reload. It looks like they're just going to hold the B bomb site. And really talk to me about what we need to see from ISO if they want to steal this round. They just need to go together. We see they're so spread out on the map. It seems to happen every round. The round develops. They have their initial short sort of strategy. But as the round gets later, they just start to spread out. And like we see, just cost, oh. just always 1v1v1v1. One 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 like right. They're never in a trade situation. AR is able to just stack up at the bomb site, get the bomb down, or hold the bomb site, and just trade off those kills over and over again. And we see at the end of every round, it's, it's always a 1v2 it seems like, for isolation. 5-2. Real talk, TP. How impressive is AR playing right now? Is this top 8 caliber, top 12 caliber? 
Uh, it, it's hard to say right now. I would definitely say they're looking like a top eight team, to be honest. They've been proving themselves online. They do have a little bit of help from the team house, but I think it's mostly due to the help of Burns. He's extremely confident as a player now, constantly fighting every gunfight. Already has two kills in this round. We're only 15 seconds into it. He just pops on his overclock or his mute and starts fighting people. Looks like he's going to try and get this last kill at the middle showers. The player, Silly, is just has no idea what's going on. His whole team gets wiped out instantly. Is trying to bring this map back, but it's not looking too good for him. Only player positive right now. Yeah, so he had a solid game one. Now he's 7-6 and six for his squad. His team started off pretty hot, but then they slowed down as AR took control. Silly, the patience paying off, is going to be able to finally maneuver from that middle building, and he is going to find some action right behind him. No mute. And so, once again, the Exo Boost just giving away his position, but he will be able to escape. Bomb is still down. He's trying to rotate over to it. Has it. 30 seconds left to work with. Yeah, he's boosting around. He's trying to bait out that player at top beat. He sure does. Not sure if we spotted him. Didn't matter. Silly gave away his position, so did Wheats, but just outclassed once again. Silly just needs some help from his teammates thus far. The first two maps he's been doing pretty darn well, but his teammates just haven't been living up to the same standard. 10 and 4 from Burns, Wheats right